What's up guys, Jade up here, and today I'm gonna to take you through how to stem your record to send off to get mixed and mastered professionally. Here at 17online.com, we offer a range of mixing and mastering services, which can be found in the mixing and mastering tab on 17online.com. So let's jump straight over to the project now and get straight into it. Okay, so first thing what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do a bounce of the track as is. So that's including the master chain on, all channels turned on, everything on so that way when you send it to us we have a reference point to how the mix was sounding at your end basically so the way we're going to do that is starting from the very starting point and this is essential that you do this for every single stem that we're going to be bouncing through this process and in this scenario i started at zero 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 so the very start of this project i'm just going to highlight through to my end marker there and go file export audio video hit export here um, and then I'm just going to go into here. I already created a stems folder for this. If you don't already have that, just hit new folder here, add this one in and I've got send it hooligan Hefs pre with the master chain on. So yeah, when the engineer opens this up, he'll be able to see exactly how it's sounding on your end. So let's hit export here. Okay, so now we have this bounced out exactly how it's sounding. We're going to go here, hit Command T, insert a new audio track. And we're just going to group that there and rename that. And we're going to call this Stems. What we're going to do now is with that complete track we just bounced out, we're going to drag and drop it into the session here. So we can see, um, as you can see, this is already looking a very brick walled master. This is just something that i've already finished with and stuff so obviously the next process is we're actually going to delete off that mastering chain so let's jump over to here go down to our master channel completely remove that now that the master chain is completely removed what we're going to do is go through and export them as stems so if you're pretty happy with say how all your effects already sound in the mix and everything's sounding leveled up when you solo it which I'm pretty happy. I was sort of adjusting levels and EQing as I was going while creating this track. So I'm happy enough just to export this as one stem. So my process to do that is just by hitting solo here. And again, very important, starting at the exact same starting point every time, highlighting and ending at the exact same ending point every time. And now what we're gonna do here is go up here and go file export audio video. Again, hit export. And in this stems folder, we're gonna name it exactly what it is. So for this, this is going to be effects group. And now I'm gonna hit save and this will start exporting out. Okay, so now that one's bounced out, technically we can turn off this group and it should sound like nothing's changed at all when we drag into drag in the effects group into here. So as you can see, because with the master chains now turned off, obviously the stems are a lot uh, smaller than this big brick wall thing up the top, which is great. So if your stems, your stems shouldn't be clipping at all. So this looks quite perfect. If your stems were something like this, where you got clipping here and here, you're definitely doing something wrong. So what I always sort of suggest is if you set up your kick at negative nine from the start of the project, and then sort of work everything around that element of being at negative nine, you should leave yourself a lot of headroom when it comes to this stage in the project. So I was happy with that as a bounce. Um, next one is when it comes to stuff like a bass group. So if you're happy with the, your balance between the bass and your sub bass, you can export it as one stem. But personally, I would much rather prefer to receive uh, tracks as separate stems being mainly because just to get that low end balance correct it's nice to be able to have the control over the sub bass versus the bass so maybe if you got like three layers of bass and then a sub bass under that export the three layers of bass as one stem and then export the sub bass as a separate stem and then again you'll be re just remembering always starting from this 1.1 point and ending at your end marker point kicks to be a single stem as well uh, when it comes to your percussion if you're pretty happy with all the levels of your percussion uh, that can all come as one stem as well excluding the clap reason being like having 
sometimes your clap can be either peeking through or get lost in the mix. So I always turn off the clap and always do it as a separate stem as well. Uh, that's just a personal preference for when I'm mixing and mastering for clients. I like to have it like that. So if I've sent you this video, do it like that. And uh, yeah, everything else, pretty much the same process again. So like your vocals and stuff like that, that can be one group. If there's no overlaps or if there is overlaps and you want to, you know, separate some things and stuff like that just to give more flexibility for the mix and master. And obviously, the better you like your mix to start with, the fewer stems you'll need. If you have more concerns about your mix, then make more stems. All right, so checklist, a few things to check off. Check all tracks are in stereo. All the automation that's already on the tracks, leave it on. All bus processing on all respective tracks. All tracks are numbered and titled correctly. Such a little thing to do, but it makes a world of difference and saves a lot of time in the long run. Uh, all stems are being checked against the mix you bounce. Make sure nothing is missing. So that's the big point I really want to drive home is that I will literally fill this up with all my stems in this group and like turn off groups and percussion as I go as sort of like a little bit of a checklist. Obviously, this bounced out version here can be turned off as well. So basically, it should sound the exact same, but you can reference back to this one and just check that everything sounds like it's in because there's nothing worse than sending something off to mixing mastering and then finding out you left out the complete effects group or something like that. And then when you get it back, you're like, why is this missing? So that's my general guide for stem creation for mix down and mastering services. Again, if you are interested in improving your record and taking it to the next level with the mix down and master, jump over to 17online.com and check out the mixing and mastering tab. My name is J-Dub and until next time, work hard and stay creative.